smiles, hugs, handshakes, and some weightless dancing from astronaut Sunita Williams as Boeing Starliner's two-member crew was welcomed on board the International Space Station after the Calypso capsule docked successfully. They docked following a flight of 27 hours after liftoff from Florida. I'm not sure we could have gotten a better welcome. I mean, we had music, we had pojo, uh, Matt was dancing. It was great. Uh, what a wonderful place to be. Uh, great to be back here. We're just, we're just happy as can be to be up in space. Before the autonomous docking, both orbited some 400 kilometers over the southern Indian Ocean. The two vehicles soared around the globe in tandem at 28,160 kilometers per hour. But before the hugs and cheers came a few glitches along the way. Helium leaks were detected in the Starliner's propulsion system as it made its way to the ISS. That knocked out some of the 28 thrusters used to make precision maneuvers in space. The capsule still had enough functioning thrusters to compensate for the loss. NASA and Boeing said the glitches do not compromise the mission. We have two problems on this vehicle right now. The helium leak and figuring out how to fine tune these thrusters so that they're not selected off. Those are pretty small, really, issues to go deal with and we'll figure them out for the next mission. What we need to do over the next few days is take a look at the leak right there and, and figure out what we go do relative to the rest of the mission. Um, in looking at the numbers just at the top level, you know, we should have absolutely plenty of margin. We didn't need an extra rendezvous day and um, you know, we'll go look at the numbers and, and figure out how to manage the helium manifolds. This is the third space flight for both the highly experienced astronauts. Astronaut Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore plan to stay for eight days conducting various tests and checks before NASA can certify that Starliner can be used for astronaut missions. Boeing put together the Starliner in collaboration with NASA to rival SpaceX's Crew Dragon capsule. Since 2020, Crew Dragon has been NASA's exclusive means of ferrying ISS crew members to orbit from American soil. The Starliner, on the other hand, is over budget by about $1.5 billion and years behind schedule. Even the liftoff for the current mission had to be rescheduled twice due to technical glitches. The successful docking will be a shot in the arm for Boeing that has found itself in the middle of a series of crises following reports of problems with its 737 MAX jetliners. For more such videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure you hit the like button and follow for more news updates.